Thorno from Golden Land and in this video I'll explain the different things you can do from inside your Zoho CRM homepage. So the first thing that you'll be able to access is, is your different modules over here. So you can call them the modules or you could call them tabs as well. So for example, pulse, campaigns, leads, accounts, so on and so forth. And once you click on the more option over here, you can see the different other modules from here as well. If you're into the enterprise plan, you can also create a custom module from here, okay? And then there will be a separate link over here, which is what's new. And if you click on this option over here, you'll be able to see the recent enhancements, which has been launched by Zoho, uh, would be listed out over here against different time frames. So for example, you can see in the year 2013, in different months, uh, what are the releases, which has been landed by Zoho. And if you wish to read more, you can click on read more section over here. So there's a whole set of new functions which has been released in, into the past. And you could actually uh, read through each one of them uh, and then apply them into your day-to-day -day activities. Okay. Let me go back to the home page over here. In the subscription section, you could actually manage your Zoho CRM subscriptions. That could include... Uh, upgrading to a new plan or downgrading to a lower plan or you could add users over here you could reduce the number of users from here in fact you can update your credit card details also over here you could look at your past subscription history over here so everything you can do from the subscription section and then there's a setup module over here in the setup uh, is actually divided into multiple groups like you can look at personal settings where each user can set up their own details over here and they can personalize using things like themes uh, then in the users and permissions you can actually define the roles of the users you could assign different profiles of the users uh, you could create multiple users over here you could create the groups data sharing rules so on and so forth now we'll cover each one of these into subsequent videos so don't worry on those part of it in the organization settings, you could uh, actually update your organization details. Territory management is a recent uh, release by Zoho where you could uh, actually create multiple territories uh, that could include different geographic locations or different other product characteristics depending upon you would like to segment your accounts or the related contacts, so on and so forth. In the customization, you can do a lot of powerful things. So for example, if you like to uh, change the layout of different modules, you could do it over here. If you like to add or modify or remove some of the fields from a module, you could do it from here. And in the automation, you could set up a lot of uh, powerful workflow automations. Workflow automations are extremely powerful. And if you like to achieve the, the greater degree of business automation, this section is going to help you over here. Templates would be an important section and you can create different email templates over here, inventory templates over here that would uh, include things like your code template, your uh, purchase order template, your sales order template, inventory templates, so on and so forth. In the mail merge uh, templates, you could create the different mail merge templates over here uh, using either Zoho Writer or Microsoft Word. The website integration is helpful when you are trying to integrate your website with Zoho CRM. So let me take an example. Like in your website, you might have an inquiry form. And when people fill up those forms, you want them to appear inside Zoho CRM as leads. So in order to achieve this, you can create a web to lead form, including Zoho, uh, uh, inside Zoho CRM. And you could publish that into your website. Okay, so that when people submit that, you could capture that as lead inside Zoho CRM and you could assign them to the different people within your sales team. Apps and add-ons are important when you're trying to integrate with, uh, say, with Google Apps or, the, or the different the Zoho apps or other uh, non-Zoho applications. Uh, when you're trying to integrate with third-party applications or with different other Zoho suite of applications, this section would be useful. You could define the APIs over here. The data administration uh, could be very powerful when you're trying to uh, migrate from another application to Zoho CRM or when you're trying to export data from Zoho CRM uh, to an Excel or a CSV format, okay? Now, in the subscription manager, uh, you could actually manage the different users over here. 
in terms of their subscription into different services okay so if you look at uh, if you click on the activate users over here this will actually show you a uh, different user list over here and with the user status over here okay so you could look at you uh, kind of what are the users which are current users now and what are the users why it has been deactivated or why it has been closed over here okay and then uh, once you are through with the setup section you could look at the help section over here now in the help you can uh, refer to the manuals of Zoho CRM or you could participate into the forum you could send an email to the Zoho CRM support team or you could live chat with a Zoho support rep so for example if you click on email over here this will open up the email section over here and you can actually post your question to the Zoho support representative over here okay and then of course you have your own personal Zoho account information and if you click on my account over here in this section you can do a lot of things like you can update your profile over here into the personal information if you want to uh, activate or deactivate your two-factor authentication, you can do it from here. If you'd like to update your uh, email address, you can do it from here. Or if you'd like to change your Zoho password, you can do it from here, okay? And then there's a very powerful search section over here. So over here, you can do search across Zoho CRM module. If you'd like to restrict your search into specific module, you could also choose those modules only. So for example, if I say, let me search by say, let me put it Milan over here, and the system searches and says that there are one matching account, there are two matching contacts over here, uh, there's one matching potential over here, there are a couple of matching invoices over there as well, and there are matching codes over there as well. And if you wish to look at, at individual records, you can click on those uh, records and you'll be able to see those individual records over here. So Zoho CRM search is extremely, extremely powerful and it searches from every module, including your documents library. So for example, if you have documents uploaded into the document section, it will even search that part of it. So it is extremely powerful over here. Uh, the other thing that you can do from your home page is you can create different records right from your home page. So these are the different modules that you have and you can start creating a new campaign or a new lead or a new product, a new account, everything from here. The calendar would be useful to you if you want to see your calendars uh, on a daily time bucket or on a weekly or on a monthly time bucket. And please note all your events that you create inside Zoho CRM will be reflected inside the calendar. So if you want to look at your, say, monthly calendar, you can look at your monthly calendar and you can go to the respective event details if you click on over here. And depending upon the position where you are into your organization hierarchy, you can look at the other people's calendar over here as well. Okay. Now let me go back to the home page over here. The next thing that you can see over here is something called Zoho Mail Magnet. Okay, so if you have configured the Zoho Mail add-on, this will come with that. Now, the beauty of Zoho Mail Magnet is like when you get an email from your lead or contact, this will uh, give an alert over here and you could directly access those emails from within Zoho Mail Magnet. The last thing I wanted to touch over here is something which a lot of people are not aware is something called recent items over here. So if you click over here, you'll be able to see the recent records that you have uh, accessed over here. So for example, uh, here is a latest one that I've accessed, which is an event. You could look at the, the recent lead that I've accessed over here, uh, which is Francis Waller, then the John Waller, a recent code that I've accessed over here. Uh, a contact over here, things like that. And you could, of course, go ahead and pin the recent items over here, okay? So, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have got any question, please feel free to visit the Golden Lion website, which is glionconsulting.com. Over there, you can do a live chat with us or in the contact page, you may decide to leave your contact details over here and we will love to get back to you exactly within 24 hours. Thanks so much for watching this video. Have a fantastic time ahead.